Hello everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're gonna uh, install OpenCart we're gonna install latest version uh, so far is from uh, August 27 2022 is version num number is 4.0.1.1 so uh, so before we proceed uh, I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna tell you what uh, what steps uh, needs to be done after downloading zip 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 file. So once you download zip zip file, um, if you open if you open it, you will see the upload folder. So you have to um, copy and zip all these files and folders to your uh, root 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 folder on your site. And uh, once you upload once you copy all these files um, folders you have to rename two files so first uh, this file config hyphen dist dot php file to rename it to just config dot php and in admin folder you have to rename um, the same um, name file to config dot php so once you've done that um, so just go to your uh, website um, and just go to the uh, type your address your website and you should see uh, installer first page uh, so and then it's a agreement you you can read through agreement and if you have time and then um, click continue and then on next page you'll see it's a pre-installation page it's where the open cart will check all the requirements that um, uh, required uh, that needed to for installing so first it's going to check PHP settings make sure you have latest version uh, 8.8.0 8, 8 and up PHP version and um, you have check mark if it's if it's uh, if it's uh, match requirement and then you have uh, to it's check required some PHP extension so as you can see uh, it needs to be activated um, so as you can see it's all green check marks and then it's checking that those two files that we renamed uh, make sure it's writable so it looks like we're good to go so let's continue to the next page and over here you have to enter database connection detail so looks like they're using mysqli driver so username root and so you have to put your password and um, database um, um, so let's let's create database open card 4.11 database and prefix for your tables and for administration you have to also create password and email It just you don't have to uh, have real if you install it on your uh, local web server you don't have to have real email address so let's see um, I haven't created a database yet so we'll see if it's gonna create for us I uh, couldn't make my database link using localhost so um, looks like we're gonna have to create a database so and um, if you go to the I have PHP my admin um, for uh, managing uh, databases so if you put this create database over here I guess it's how it's database created so let's see if we can try it again 
So after creating, looks like it's working. Installation complete. Wow, don't forget to delete installation directory. So it looks like that's it. Um, so uh, it's telling us to delete installation directory. So that's uh, if you go to uh, um, to your web website uh, root directory. So that you will see there is install directory over here. So you, you you need to delete it. So let's click here and delete. delete. Okay. So and then go to administration okay so now we have a uh, login page and um, we have to put our administrator uh, username and password and once we log in first time to the dash dashboard to the back back end of the uh, open cart you will see this uh, important security notification window so what it says, it has a two, uh, two notifications. So we have to first one is to move the storage, storage uh, folder, and another one it's to rename admin folder. So let's do first um, move the storage folder. So it, let's give a name. Since I already have a um, folder with this, with the name storage, so. We'll give it a different name, push move, and let's hope it will move. Mm. As you can see, it successfully removed storage directory. So, the second, it's kind of a little tricky. So, you have to rename admin directory, and we have to change, put the new admin uh, directory in our. Uh, address so let's give first a uh, name to admin folder so admin 411 for example and press rename mm. Mm. Well, let's do it again the folder already exists so let's give another name with zero one one press again Let's rename for the second time sometimes it doesn't work in the first time so you have to do second time So as you can see, so it's renamed and so it's logged out us uh, uh, right away and and as you can see on the address we have already new new uh, folder admin folder with a new address. So all we have to do is log in again and here we go. Now all notification is gone. And let's check our um, admin folder. So in your website, um, so as you can see, admin folder is renamed. So first time, I guess it didn't copy all the files because um, it's different size. Thirty six instead of thirty two instead of thirty six. So as you can see, uh, that's how it's uh, what how to get rid of the notification uh, um, security notification, and that's how to install uh, OpenCart 4.011. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Give a thumbs up if if you like this video, and please consider subscribing to. Our channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.